Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arc Schooling, and today I'm going to be doing my 2019 reading goals and life goals, I guess. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to lay out my plans for 2019. I don't have a lot of big ones. I kind of like to keep it fairly simple so that I can actually do the things because whenever I try to overcomplicate it, it just, it doesn't go well. So with that in mind, here's my plans for my reading life in 2019. So the first thing is my Goodreads challenge. I always do a Goodreads challenge since they've had them and I want to continue that. And so this year I'm going to set my goal for 70 books again. I did that last time in 2018 and it went really well. I went over. So I think 70 is very doable for me. So I won't feel like I'm like rushing at the end of the year to hit my goal. Um, as far as reading challenges go, I'm only doing one this year. I'm going to be doing the one I created, the Build Your Library Reading Challenge. I'll link something up here where you can check out my challenge and I'll you can go and download your own printable checklist and join in. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited about it. So I'll be doing that myself, but I'm also going to get my kids in on it. So I've, I've already been sitting down and planning out like what we're going to read, what my youngest is going to read, what we're going to read together and all of that. So I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. And my only other real challenge this year is read my shelves. I, I think I've said this at least a couple other times throughout the years that I've been doing booktube that I have a lot of books and I have a lot of unread books. I was just joking the other day that I should do a video where I just sort of start stacking all the unread books around me and I would be like in my own little book castle of books I haven't read. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll still do that just so I can see how ridiculous it's gotten. But I have a lot of books that I want to read that I, I already own. So I would like to read the books I own. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy new books because... Who am I kidding? But I'd like to at least make an attempt to read as many books as I buy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I want to read my shelves. Those are my reading goals for 2019. I did set a few other little things like I want for my channel. I was thinking I, I don't want to set a lot of crazy goals there either. I want to be consistent. I feel like I'm fairly consistent. I try to get up one video a week, sometimes more. But one a week would be great. So I'd like to continue that. I really want to learn some new editing software. I, I own the Adobe Premiere and I just never use it because I'm, I'm lazy <laughs> when it comes to learning new technology. I've been using the crappy Movie Maker Microsoft crap that I have and it's just it's not great. I can't do a lot of things and I would like to be able to do more stuff. Even something as simple as being able to talk about a book I don't own and having a picture of it right here would be amazing. I can't do that with Microsoft Movie Maker. So it'd be cool to have the ability to just even that would be great. So I'd like in 2019 to improve my editing skills. Let's see. I don't know if that'll happen. And the other thing I wanted to do more read-alongs. I just I've I've had a lot of fun doing this Watership Down read-along this winter and I think it'd be cool to do more of that. I just I don't know how that will work out in in reality. I have a lot on my plate already. I don't know if I can like keep adding more things without driving myself completely crazy, but I'd like to do at least one more. So, I'm thinking in the spring I'll do one. Maybe I'll make it a seasonal thing. Like this was the winter. And then maybe I'll do a spring and maybe a summer. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's like something I've been thinking about doing. Because I just think it's fun to read as a community and have like an online book club and everyone talk. I had a book club for a little while, but it just, it got to be too much. And I had to set something aside and that was the thing that was easiest to let go. But yeah, I do want to do that. So that might be a thing that happens. As far as life goals go, I don't make a lot of resolutions because I never stick to them. Like, I, I gotta be realistic. The only thing I really want to do is to keep up my bullet journal. I started it last year and I, I was doing really great until about May and then it just was like I had too much other stuff to do and I couldn't keep up and I'm like, that's not even the point of the bullet journal is to have it pretty and cool and looking really neat. I don't know why I made it into that, but I did. And so I want it... I, I, 
for what it was, it was useful. <laughs> so I want to I want to make it useful again and have a, a usable journal that doesn't necessarily have to be fancy. So I want to do that this year and actually use it the whole year. And I I decided I'd have a word theme for my year. So my word for 2019 is balance. I I have a, a hard time balancing work and homeschooling and housework and channel and all those things. It's 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 a challenge. And sometimes I do really well and sometimes I'm just like I can't do anything because there's too many things to do. So I end up just sitting and scrolling my phone for 45 minutes and like what even is my life anymore? So I really want to work harder at balancing all the things and making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and not just focusing too much on one and not on the other, you know what I mean? Yeah, balance. So those are my goals for 2019. I, I'm keeping it really simple because I want it to be doable. I want it to be realistic. I, I always have this tendency to like make really ridiculous plans and then I can't do any of it and then I really feel guilty at the end of the year and I don't... Th why would I want to feel guilty about something that I made myself do? <laughs> like who's, who's in charge here? Do you have any goals for 2019? I'd love to hear what your plans are for the year. If you've got any reading goals or just life goals or any goals in general, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy reading. Bye!